Welcome you all. This is Sundar from Symphonia Well. Before getting into today's video, I want to thank you all for the kind of feedback you gave for my last video which was on the flat which I sold. Many of you called and uh, appreciated the efforts which was definitely a, a great gesture by people who called me. Thank you for that. In case you have still not seen the video, the description link is given below. Please take time to watch the video. Okay, so let's get into today's topic. The topic is, we all know that the war is happening and because of that the crude prices have actually jumped multifold. So let's speak what impact it creates in the Indian economy. We all know, we all know that we are one of the largest importers of crude. So naturally whenever the price of crude goes up, it is definitely a point of concern where we should be aware of. So in the video I am going to tell you the impact what crude will create and how we are positioned as a country and an economy and what are the other green shoots which are available to navigate this tough phase. So we all know that the crude is again back above $100, in fact it went to as high as $140 and now it is somewhat uh, corrected it is somewhere about $110 but even then it is definitely much above the comfort level of the Indian target because we normally are okay till such time the crude is anywhere in the range of about $70 to $80. The moment it crosses that, as we speak it is well above that uh, comfort zone. The same happened during 2014 also. The chart which I have shown you clearly explained in 2014 it was almost as high as $120, $130. After that it fell and about 6, 7, 8 years crude has been very kind to all of us. And again with the, the war tension and the other stuff, the crude price have again gone up. So the next chart tells you if the crude price goes up, it actually impacts the Indian economy by about 0.2%. So which is the substantial and also the inflation goes up by about 0.4%. I think this is the most worrying part because without fuel uh, nothing works, we all know that and when the crude price goes up naturally the fuel cost goes up and in turn there is a lot of spiraling effect on the overall inflation of the country. But the good news is compared to 2014, in 2022 we are in a somewhat better position at an economy level, especially the forex reserves is almost two times. We are at about $630 uh, of reserves which is definitely a comforting factor. And another good thing is compared to 2014, in 2022 our economy is much more robust and stronger. The current growth rate is close to about 8.4% of GDP compared to the 5.9% in 2014. So these are two comforting factors. But that does not mean that we are out of the problem. Another important factor is, as we speak, the third wave seems to be much more uh, cooled off in India and we are all breathing much more uh, relaxed and feeling better and that's clearly visible in the business resumption index which was started during the pre-COVID from March 2020 when the COVID started, how it actually impacted the economic activity. This is the index which has been tracked. So if you look at, we are, as we speak, we are actually much above the pre-COVID levels. We are at about 122 compared to 100, which means that the economy is broadly back to normal and most of the industries are back to normal and they are working very good. And let's hope that there are no more waves and uh, the economy actually comes back much more stronger. And the numbers are very evident because the, the economic growth is doing very well. So as the commodity prices and the crude prices have gone up, inflation has become a worry not only to India, it's actually across. If you look at the most affected country is US because their inflation is at about 7.5% which is like almost a three decade high kind of. So they have much more problems to solve compared to us but we are also not left alone. So we also have certain things to put in place. And let's hope that the crude price which is above $100 does not stay for a very long period of time. So assuming the geopolitical tension uh, eases out and the crude prices comes to less than 100 I think it will be a major relief for the economy. So as we are speaking about crude, but there are other good things also happening in the Indian economy. One is the GST collections which is at a record high which is about 1.3 lakhs per month the last month number. Another important thing is 
the direct tax collection is at a historic high. So this year we are likely to close at about 13 and a half lakh crores, which is the highest ever in the history of India. So one side indirect tax collection, on the other side the direct tax collection, both are doing well, which means the economy is definitely much more vibrant. And if you look at the PMI numbers, that is also much uh, way above the 50 mark, which is close to about 54, which also is a very comforting number. Another important thing is the monsoon, which is likely to start from the month of May. As we speak, it is likely to be a very normal monsoon, which means most part of the agriculture should agriculture also should do well. And the last two years have been very good, and the productions have been actually at a record high. And because of that, we are actually wherever we are in excess, we are actually able to export to other countries, especially when Ukraine and Russia is impacted because of the war. And we all know that they are one of the largest producers of wheat and uh, sunflower oil. And uh, at least to some extent, wheat has started getting exported. And with a normal monsoon, I think we should also have a very, very good harvest even for this year. So there are many uh, uh, positive sides also, but the uh, the major irritant currently is the crude prices because of its the inflation and also the geopolitical war. Okay, as we speak, it is almost nearing a month's time. By the time the video is out to you, let's hope and pray that things become normal and we are out of this war tension. And let's also hope that it does not extend to other countries. The war comes to an end much more peacefully. Another important thing is there are some signs of uh, fourth wave in some of some part of the world and let's hope that the fourth wave does not hit us. Good thing is our vaccination coverage is like almost 180 crore plus, so which is very encouraging but let's hope that it again does not disturb us in a large scale. And because of both COVID and the war, there is a lot of supply disruption which has happened which is also a big contributor to the overall inflation not only in India across the world. Assuming there is no COVID wave and also the war comes to an end, I think the supplies will again start which will be a big breather to the overall inflation across the world which will be a very encouraging sign. But as we speak, we are in kind of a uh, situation where inflation is, a high, uh, is at a high which is definitely a concerning sign but let's hope and pray that this phase also passes out much more faster. Hope you enjoyed this video. We will come back to you with more uh, update on the economy as and when it is relevant. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Symphonia Chennai. And please don't forget to press the bell notification icon. Thank you for watching.